Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So Solana, unfortunately, not really any exciting price movements. It really looks like that Solana is just dancing in this range. Maybe, maybe in something that you could consider kind of a triangle here, but it's it's way too early to confirm that. At least if you connect those three lows here, yeah, you get a trend line and that makes a valid trend line. So ideally we want to see a little bit of a reaction now, um, ideally to the upside, and then we can be more certain we're in a triangle. In the end, the triangle doesn't really help us anyway, because what we need to see, we need to see a reaction here either above $15, that would allow us to understand that we are in the yellow count, or to the downside, then we have space all the way down to $11.80, also still in a wave two, in the yellow count to find support. But if we break below that level, then we are most likely gonna head for lower straight away um, into the region around $7 most likely, maybe even lower. For Solana, my view is still, <clears throat> well, I'm not I'm not convinced that this is a bullish count. Um, there is certainly short-term upside potential, but don't get me wrong, this would only be unlocked as soon as we get above $15. I showed you in previous videos the um, historical volume, the VRVP, which I mean, we can just put on the screen again, which basically suggests that above $15, as you can see, there's a huge insufficiency here. So above $15, if we really break it, first of all, it's, um, it's a structural resistance level, but also, as you can see, it shows you a lot in terms of um, above that level, that there is not much there in terms of support and resistance. So we can then move quite quickly into the $20 region most likely, yeah, um, and maybe stretch it to $25, $26. So just be aware of that. So the $15 region is really, really important. Would that mean we are suddenly bullish if this is going to happen? No, not necessarily. Short-term bullish, yes. Certainly there is some upside potential there. But um, this could all just be part of a larger A, B, C correction and the C wave is this sort of short term upside potential all within a wave four, which would result in another wave five sell off later. It's a bit too early to confirm that. Um, but this is how I see it at the moment. It would convince me of something different if it creates those five waves up and if we then come down in an ABC correction, hold a higher low, hold support, basically we can then see it as a one, two setup and would say that, all right, maybe wave four was already in here, wave five low was already in here. Um, then I would be convinced that something more bullish is going on. The problem is I cannot reasonably expect that wave four is already finished and wave five and that we've already ended the bear market. I can't because I still expect another low for Bitcoin and I can't because Despite Bitcoins and Ethereum's short-term upside that we've seen last week, Solana hasn't really done much, yeah? So there wasn't enough there. And where Bitcoin and Ethereum pushed a little bit higher, Solana was just moving sideways. Luckily, while they are coming down now, Solana is also just moving sideways, basically. But there is just not enough interest there of, from, from the buyers. So the buyer side is quite weak, is quiet, um, and therefore, I'm skeptical about the about this upside potential, and this is a chart where I'm where I'm saying there is certainly potential there in the short term, but I need to see that signal above fifteen dollars, and ideally a break above that level, and a retest of that previous swing high, flipping basically resistance into support, and then we could move up. Yeah, everything else, careful. Yeah, even a break. Off to the downside from here would it wouldn't necessarily be bearish yeah it would all just be part most likely of this wave too so you know this could be a wave a this could be a b wave and we could come down in a c wave of two equally it could be that wave a was already done here we've seen a wave b and the wave c was this but i don't necessarily believe this because we do not yet see that bullish reaction to the upside. The problem is that if we were already in a wave three, we should see quite an impulsive move to the upside. But I can start to believe that as soon as we get above 15 US dollars. I hope that's clear. 
Okay, and that's my update about Solana. So I hope you like the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.